What's going guys, Zenos here and today let's discuss about the Fire Caesar, leader of Undertaker. So this video is about the guide on Fire Caesar. So he is a fire type, a tank class servant, alright? And his stars are pretty much the same as that of the other tank uh, servants that of that of five star class, okay? And next thing is let's look into his skills first skill is the same thing taunts the enemy for 20 seconds it's known as the undying shield uh, second skill provides a level 5 defense for himself for 60 seconds that's pretty usual <laughs> same thing all right and finally with the combo skills what's gonna happen is that it's named as the last holy war it removes two debuffs from all allies okay that's all there is to it it is a three hit multi hit skill uh, well that's a pretty good cleansing skill okay two debuffs from all allies mm, pretty good pretty good not really that bad and finally when it comes to his passive skill reduces death ignoring attack damage by 70 percent okay now that is pretty new okay so uh, in PvP and IPv battles, most of the time, even though tanks are really good at tanking out so many damage, but the problem is most of the time, defense ignoring servants really make a quick work of them, but not anymore, okay? So, this uh, new servant, okay, Caesar, is actually making it a huge thing, okay? But becomes weak to defense-based attacks, so uh, yes, obviously he needs to have a little bit of weakness because... Reducing defense ignoring attack damage by 70% is way too OP right out there, <laughs> okay? So obviously there needs to be some weakness and here comes the weakness death based attacks So obviously like Archangels or let's say Carmilla, okay? Those are the type of servants who are actually gonna deal uh, Massive damage to this particular unit, okay? So use this unit wisely, okay? If an ally A Lucian is present with the 4th Awakening activated, SP increases by 100%. Okay, that's good. Aleutians are pretty amazing healer. Okay, and DPS as well. Okay, so pretty good. I'm uh, really good. If an ally healer is present, okay, SP increases by 70%. It's like one or another, okay? <laughs> uh, let's say if Aleutian is present, then his SP is increased by 100%. But if Aleutian is not present in the team, at least you need to have a healer. If a healer is present, then at least you will be getting a 70% SP increase. So that's pretty good, okay? Give and take. Next thing is the team passive. SP of all element allies increases by 45% at PvP. Sometimes I really do not understand why is this out here because like, I, I think this is one of the most useless team passive because like, I really don't see any, you know, utility to this factor. If you guys have any, please let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to hear it out, guys. In overall, I would love to rate this servant about like 7.5 over 10, maximum of 8 guys. Because like, he's a little bit specific in his cause and he's not really that like, you know, really like all regions champion, okay? Uh, he's specific, okay? And obviously his first skill and second skills are pretty much copy paste from like, you know, other tank servants as well. And third skill is a good cleansing skill, okay, but that's all there is to it and with the passive skill It is pretty much specific well against the death ignoring uh, Servants like let's say Zeta, okay, I think um, Scarlet or something like that. I forgot her name. Oh my god. I forgot her name. Okay uh, Like let's say Charlotte, okay uh, he is gonna be really good against them, but against the death based attacks, okay, that is gonna be really really harsh on him And that's okay, and team passive is pretty much useless, okay So in overall, yes, 7.5 over 10 will be good, okay And obviously in PvP modes, he is the one who is, who is gonna shine And in Abaddon, okay, where you might actually be facing a servant that ignores the defense He might actually shine out there as well so okay, uh, mostly he is for the PvP sections, okay? Uh, so <laughs> there we go. And let's move on to what sort of gears can we actually recommend to this amazing guy, okay? So uh, as a, you know, like a really good tank, I would really love to suggest you guys to go with either Life or the Iron Set, okay? These are the two gears that is solely amazing for him. You can even go with the resistance as well if you really have good resistance gears, okay? Resistance is really amazing as well. It really helps you to gain a really high CP for this unit, okay? 
so life iron or resistance so when you are talking about the weapon the shirt and the pants okay primary stats flat stats no need to worry about them but when you are talking about additional stats or sub stats please guys focus on defense percentage boost HP percentage boost speed boost and resistance guys resistance yes resistance actually matter a lot okay and you can go with the accuracy percentage boost as well but you know like it's a little bit like um, you know, like how to say this uh, optional okay uh, main factor would be uh, again defense percentage boost SP percentage boost uh, speed boost and finally the resist percentage boost okay so these are the things that is gonna really make your servant really amazingly tanky 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 okay and uh, when you are talking about the gloves and the necklace speed stat boost should be the primary stat but in the gloves you can actually go with the HP percentage boost or defense percentage boost to make your servant really tanky okay so in gloves helmet uh, shoes as well as the ring okay guys please make a choice between HP percentage boost and defense percentage boost but according to like you know like the community they really prefer defense percentage boost more than compared to HP percentage boost for me both looks the same but anyway it's really up to you guys on how to do it but for me I would recommend you guys to put you know like get it together okay uh, bring them both together in a very balanced way okay so that would be the key to making a really amazing uh, tank out of our fire Caesar okay so he is really that amazing guys so uh, this is it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel see you guys in the next video